Stranger Things 3 is right around the corner and if the trailer promises anything, it's a summer that we won't forget. With the show due to drop in the next few months, I decided to do a breakdown of everything we know so far about the season, including its release date, plot details and more. This is full spoilers ahead, so if you want to go into season 3 with fresh eyes, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out the way, I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I explain it so you don't have to. Stranger Things 3 is due to release on Netflix worldwide on the 4th of July. The show will be set during the summer of 1985 and this Independence Day release will likely feature in the show itself. The last time we saw the gang was Halloween 2017 and this release was mirrored by the time setting of the show so it makes sense that season 3 drops on Netflix at this time too. So what about the plot? Well, whilst the recently released trailer was pretty sparse on plot details, there were huge hints towards the budding relationship between Mike and Eleven, who producers of the show, the Duffer Brothers, are affectionately calling Malevin. The characters have went through another year and because of this time jump, the show will pick up with them far on from the events of season 2. The characters are now entering high school for the first time and season 3 will centre around the implications that come with this. This is going to definitely be a coming of age story and we may see the group becoming divided due to their changes in personality. The teenage angst is showcased in the trailer when Finn states, we're not kids anymore, which he then follows up with, I mean, what did you think? We were just going to sit in my basement all day, play video games for the rest of our lives? I was kind of hoping they were to be honest, but I guess not. And this line's inclusion clearly shows that we're going to be dealing with the difficult teenage years that have the potential to push them further apart from one another. Whilst this is going to throw a few spanners in the work, there's also the fact that the shadow monster from season 2 has a vendetta against Eleven. In Beyond Stranger Things, Millie Bobby Brown, who plays the character, stated that she's screwed, which is pretty revealing as to its return and goals. And what about the new monster that we see in the trailer? Well, each season features a monster that the group end up naming after Dungeons and Dragons creatures. Season 1 was the Demogorgon, Season 2 the Mind Flayer, and thus it makes sense that this new season will pull from that as well. Fans of the board game franchise have flooded the internet with their theories, and the most likely one seems to be that it is the Tarrasque. It's pretty close in appearance, and this monster is based around a giant lizard that possesses several spikes and sharp terrifying teeth, which this appears to have. There's even a theory that one of the characters could be this creature which I'll go into later in the video. So what about the new characters? Well, whilst the original gang are returning, there are also several additions to the cast. Maya Hawke is cast as Robin, who is Steve's co-worker at the ice cream parlor, Scoops Ahoy, in the new Hawkins Mall. The mall is set to be the new hangout area for the group and it features prominently in the trailer as this will be their go-to area. Jake Busey has also been cast as a journalist who may be chronicling the strange things that happen in the town. Carrie Ells is also appearing as Mayor Klein, who is described as being more focused on his image than the people of Hawkins. This will most likely riff on Jaws and we will see an inept leader who doesn't really know how to handle the monsters that start appearing in the town and therefore gets ousted when it comes to the crunch by Jim Hopper, played by David Harper. Joyce and Hopper are too set to build a relationship in this season and obviously the two have known each other for a long time, been through a lot and thus this makes a lot of sense. This is also set to be mirrored in the relationship of Nancy and Jonathan. Nancy seems to have chosen him over Steve, however the latter gave her a look in the last season's finale that makes me believe that things aren't necessarily over between them. Joe Keery who plays Steve recently stated in an interview with E! Online that I don't think it's the end of the story but I do think that the second season was a lot about him growing up and learning how to put people before him a little bit more. I don't think it's over, I think how they leave it is realistic. So it seems that the love triangles that the show is built upon will continue throughout this and Nancy may even go back to him since he became the world's best babysitter in season 2. Billy and Erica are two set to get bigger roles this season. The former was originally meant to be a large part of season 2, however due to the amount of characters the Duffer brothers had to cut much of his arc. This season is set to remedy that with the character getting much more development. It appears that he's getting closer to Karen Wheeler, aka Mike's mum, with his job as a lifeguard and this again will add to the dynamic relationships of the show. 
though that may get cut short with the appearance of the Tarrasque. Now, this isn't confirmed, but we see shots in the trailer that show Billy seems to be infected with something. The character did get stabbed with the same syringe that was used to sedate Will, who has long been tainted by the Upside Down, and this cross-contamination may now be affecting Billy. Many think that Billy may in fact be the Tarrasque, and this would make sense as to why the creature appears in the hospital in the trailer. Perhaps Billy was rushed there before transforming, and then the infection took over and changed him. Finally, what's the future of the show beyond this season? Well, according to the Duffer Brothers, Stranger Things will be the penultimate season, with the show coming to a close in season 4. That still gives us a lot to look forward to, but it is a bit sad that we won't get to see the cast of characters beyond that season. Anyway, that's everything we know so far about Stranger Things Season 3, and obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the show and if you have any other theories in regards to the cast, monsters and more. Make sure you leave them in the comments below, and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, and make sure you check out my breakdown of this week's other big release, Us, which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.